Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Campaign fans and uh, August 12th elections. So arising from that interaction, uh, the party went to court. The party went to court because it was of the view that uh, what the commission had set out to do uh, was devoid of legal uh, backing. That is in the sense that this jurisdiction does not have any piece of legislation that compels political parties to disclose their source of campaign funds. Now, there, there's some bigger context around the argument around pertaining to campaign funds. For some of you, you know, may recall that sometime in 2017, uh, the government introduced what was then as a political party bill. That political party bill was, among others, intended to uh, make provision for political parties to disclose their source of funds on an annual basis. The best of my recollection, I think it was section 40 of that bill. That bill collapsed. Why it collapsed, I believe my guess is as good as it is. So, fast forward, we find ourselves in a situation where the commission has created a predicament for itself. So after we went to court regarding the source of funds, they come up with, uh, with a charge of uh, being in possession of what the term is a possible crime, which is obviously an afterthought. So from where we are seated, uh, it's, uh, it's a charge that has no legs to stand on, but obviously it's not for this interaction. We are all taking it. Well, nothing more is happening from here. We do budget for this community. Yeah, but we proceed to move the great investigation team for another interaction. Okay, good afternoon. Come on, come on. Come on. They can go to heaven wherever they will go, will not disclose because this is abuse of the law. Are they investigating UPND where they got the money, where they got the vehicles? Are they investigating socialist party? So they are contradicting themselves. So it will not go anywhere. Yes. And we are very strong and the country will take us. Yes. The other view is that, uh, you know, there are many economic problems in the country right now. Our priority is not to chase up the wind. This much clearly from the charge that has been slapped on the secretary, former Secretary General of the PF, clearly you can see that this government is failing to discharge its duties to look after Zambian people. As you can see, the fuel prices have gone too high and it has also an effect on other prices like those of food and many other social services. So, uh, we urge this government to be serious when it comes to dealing with issues of the people and not to focus on these wrong things of following people without any evidence. So, uh, I know that out there, Zambian people, particularly the youths, they are so keen to see this government deliver jobs, deliver money in the people's pocket. Clearly, even the youths that were jailed, who were insulting the president, those youths were merely airing out their frustration. So the, if I was in government, if I was the president, I would have learned that Zambians are frustrated right now. It's important for this government to look at the frustrations of the economic problems rather than following people. But as, it, as it has been said, there is no law that actually obliges anyone to disclose campaign funds. Therefore, we think that this charge is baseless and we will see what happens in court. Thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. 
Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.